everybody's pretty much, um, we're, we're starting in a comfortable uh, seated position today. So you're, you can have your right leg on top of the left, left on top of the right, or maybe you have your legs stacked in front of each other, whichever feels good. Maybe you just grab your sit bones and just pull and flatten here so you feel a little grounded. We're just going to close our eyes. Roll your shoulders down your back. And just breathe your normal breath cycle in through your nose and out through your mouth. Today's theme of class is going to be about awareness. So I want you to take a moment while your eyes are closed here and just notice your environment that you're in, whether you're practicing at home or you're here outside. Maybe you notice the sounds, the smells, and just how being in this environment makes you feel. Maybe you bring awareness to your thoughts. Are they positive thoughts or the negative thoughts? Just acknowledging those thoughts that are coming across and just letting them go. Bringing awareness to your breath. Really trying to fill up your lungs as you inhale. And as you exhale, trying to release all that air. Noticing how your breath makes you feel. Bringing awareness to your body, noticing how your body feels right now in this moment. Does it feel calm? Does it feel tense? We'll revisit this again at the end of class, bringing awareness to our bodies to see how we feel at the end of class versus the beginning of class. Maybe you begin your ujjayi breath or your yoga breath by taking a big inhale through your nose, filling up your lungs, and exhaling through your nose, creating an audible swirl in the back of your throat. This is a calming breath, a breath to bring you back to the present moment. Maybe you take a moment to set an intention for class today if that is in your context. Look slowly and gently open our eyes. Maybe awareness here, our eyes open. Notice the sights around you. Take an inhale with our arms up and let's exhale, twisting to the right, bringing your left hand on the outside of that right leg. Trying to bring your right hand as close to your sacrum as you can as you inhale and lengthen that spine up and twist with your core and not your neck or back. Inhaling, coming back to center, arms up. 
and exhale, twist to the left. Again, using that arm behind you to really lengthen up through your spine and twist with your core. Inhaling back to center, arms up. And exhale, dropping them down in front of you, walking them out to your edge. Slowly walking those hands back up and coming up and over to table. So here in tabletop, you want your wrists underneath your shoulders. We're going to take a few rounds here of cat cow. So we're going to inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, pushes the ground away, really rounding that upper back. Again, inhale, look up, arch your spine. Exhale, pushes the ground away, belly button to spine. Taking a few more of these on your own breath. Maybe getting organic with the movement. Maybe you move your hips side to side. Maybe your feet hurt with your spine. Whatever feels good. taking one more and then meeting me in neutral spine. So here in neutral spine, we're going to uh, take a spinal balance. So we're going to extend your left leg out behind you, checking in with your hips, trying to make sure that they're in line with one another, and then extending your right arm out. So imagine you're being pulled from your fingertips and your foot, really lengthening out. From here, we're going to take this right arm and we're going to sweep it out to the side into a T. And we're going to thread the needle. However, we're not going to land the needle and we're not going to curl down. We're going to curl directly into a T, correct, and then back out. Again, curling, using your core, and back out. One more time, curling, and back out. We're going to bend the left knee and grab the left foot with your right hand, pushing that foot into your hand looking down or looking over that right hand. Without slingshotting, releasing back into your spinal balance and then coming to cat, I'm sorry, coming to tabletop. Take a cat cow to release this. So we're going to inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, push the ground away. Coming back to neutral, we're going to do this on the other side. So you're going to extend your right leg out, checking in with those hips, and extend the left arm out. Pulling that belly button to spine, really lengthening here through your leg and your arm. Bringing this left arm out to a T. We're going to sweep that arm under, threading the needle, maybe looking over that right shoulder, and back out. Again, threading, and back out. One more time, and back out. Bending that right knee, grabbing that right foot with your left hand, 
looking down or looking over your left shoulder. That slingshotting, releasing back to that spinal balance and back to tabletop. Maybe taking another cat cow. And coming back to a neutral spine. From here, we're going to open our shoulders. So we're going to walk our hands, arms out in front of us, coming into puppy pose, trying to drop your chest and chin to the mat. Mindfully coming back up out of puppy pose, back to your tabletop. We're going to spread our fingers wide, curl our toes under, and we're going to push up to down dog. So here in down dog, you want to make sure that the weight is between your first finger and your thumb, that you're not locking out your elbows. Your gaze is towards your belly button. And you're actively trying to get your hips towards the sky. Maybe you walk your dog here, bending one knee and then the other. Maybe you curl up onto your tippy toes, stretching those toes out. Maybe you shift your hips side to side. Whatever feels good, listen to your body. Coming back to stillness in your down dog. We're gonna inhale the right leg up. We're gonna bring knee towards your nose, curling it in, using your core, holding here, and pushing back up to three-legged dog. From here, we're gonna bend that knee back in towards our nose, and we're gonna plant that right foot in between our hands. So pausing here. From here, we're going to step the left foot up to the outside of the right foot. So you're going to step it up and bring it to the outside of the right foot. So from here, we're going to walk our hands over towards the right side. And maybe you bend your right knee and you try to shift your hips towards the left side of the mat. Here, you're getting a nice stretch in your IT band. Walking your hands back over to center, keeping your feet where they're at. We're going to inhale, coming all the way up. Hands overhead. We're going to grab your left wrist with your right hand. Your feet can stay where they are, or you can take your left foot and step it out to the side a little more. Whatever feels comfortable. So we're gonna inhale, lifting up, and exhale over. Coming back up to center, adjusting your feet back together. We're going to inhale, lift here, and exhale, swan dive down. Let's inhale with a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let's do that one more time. Let's inhale, flat back, more to the mat. Exhale, fold. Plant our hands. We're going to go through our first vinyasa, or you can skip vinyasa and go straight to down dog. So if you're going through vinyasa, you're going to step or hop back to plank. Lower down through your chaturanga. Lift your elbows up. Lift your hips up. Lift your shoulders up. Inhale, shine your heart through. 
and exhale, down dog. So from here, we're gonna inhale the left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee in towards your nose, holding here. Shooting it back up, three-legged dog. Again, bringing knee to nose and planting that foot in between your hands. Pausing here, we're going to step up the right foot on the outside of the left foot. We're going to walk our hands over towards the left, maybe bending your left knee slightly and shooting your hips towards the right. Walking your hands back to center. We're gonna inhale, come all the way up. Grabbing your right wrist with your left hand. Your feet can stay here, or you can take your right foot out to the side more, whatever feels good. So we're gonna inhale, lengthen up, and exhale over to the left. Coming back to center, adjusting your feet back in line with one another. Inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, fall. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, planting your hands, going through your vinyasa or skipping your vinyasa and going straight to down dog. So from down dog, we're gonna inhale the right leg up again. We're gonna bend that knee, bring your knee in towards your nose and plant that foot in between your hands. You might want to shimmy your left foot back a hair and then come down to that left knee. So from here, the best way to do what we're about to do for me was to curl my toes under in the back for a little more stability. So we're going to plant our left hand and extend our right arm out. We're gonna sweep the arm back to the back, looking over that shoulder. And we're gonna bring that arm up and overhead as we straighten that front leg. Maybe you touch your toes. Bending that knee, extending that arm out in front of you. Sweeping it to the back. Straightening that front leg as you bring that arm up and over. We're going to do that one more time. So bending that right knee, bending that right arm, sweeping it to the back. Bringing that arm up and over as you straighten that front leg. Coming back up. So you're here in a low runner's lunge. Maybe you uncurl your toes. We're gonna inhale, arms up, overhead, and we're gonna grab opposite elbow. So you can stay here as you lunge into that right leg and soften through that left hip flexor, or maybe you inhale with a little back bend. Coming back to center, we're gonna inhale, twist, with our core over towards the left. Coming back to center, we're gonna twist with our core towards the left. We're gonna release our elbows, so your right arm behind you, left arm out front. We're gonna drop the right arm to the mat or to your left hamstring and left arm over into this modified reverse lunge. Coming back up and over to center. We're gonna drop the left hand down. We're gonna come into side plank. So you can come into modified side plank by adjusting your left leg 
over to the side and bringing your right leg up. Or you can come into full side plank. Really trying to lift those hips. Maybe you can extend that right arm overhead for a little more length. Coming over to full plank. We're going to drop our knees to the mat. We're going to lower our chest halfway down, elbows in. And then we're going to inhale, shining our heart through here in Cobra. And exhale as you curl your toes under, coming to down dog. And from here, we're going to inhale the left leg up. We're going to bend that knee, knee to nose, and plant that foot in between your hands. We're going to shimmy the right foot back and drop to that right knee. From here, we're going to extend the left arm out. Maybe you pull your right toes under for balance. We're going to sweep the left arm back, looking over that shoulder. And as we straighten the front leg, we're going to bring that left arm up and over. Again, bend through that knee, bend that arm, sweep that arm back, bring it up and over as you straighten that leg. One more time, bend the left arm, sweep it back, bring it up and over as you straighten that leg. Coming back up, maybe you flatten your toes. We're going to inhale, arms up. We're going to grab opposite elbow. Maybe you grab it the opposite way this time than you did before. So you can stay here, softening through that right hip flexor. Or maybe you inhale with a little back bend. Coming back up to center, we're going to twist to the right. Coming back to center, we're going to twist to the left. Releasing your arms so your left arm is behind you, right arm out front. Staying here, or maybe you drop that hand to your hamstring and your right arm up and over. So this reverse lunge. Again, reminding you that this is a back bend and a nice final twist here. Chest opener. Coming back down with those hands to the mat, planting your right hand, and we're coming into side plank. So either coming into modified side plank or coming into full side plank. Lifting those hips. Maybe you extend that arm overhead for a little more lengthening. And coming back to plank, we're going to come to our knees, dropping your chest slowly, our elbows in. Inhale as you shine your chest through, curling your toes under and pushing up to down dog. We're going to take a down dog twist. So we're going to take, put the weight through your left hand, lift your right hand and grab your left ankle, looking up and under your armpit. Coming back to center, switching sides. So grabbing that right ankle with your left hand. Coming back to your down dog. We're gonna roll out to plank, folding here. If you can't hold plank, you can always come to your knees for a modified version. You're puffing that space up through your shoulders, booties down. From here, we're gonna bend and cover our knees. Looking to the top of the mat, we're gonna hop to the top. We're going to 
Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Hanging here like a rag doll, so maybe you grab opposite elbow, bending one knee, then the other. Maybe you lay your hands on the ground. Whatever feels good. Coming back to stillness, we're going to inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up, hands together at the top, and bring it right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands going through your vinyasa. All right, you guys ready to get moving now? <laughs> okay, so from down dog, we're going to roll out to plank. We're going to bend and hover those knees. Looking to the top of the mat, you're going to hop to the top. We're going to inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Hands together, bringing them through heart center. To Tadasana or mountain pose. Okay, so we're going to do this first sequence, running through it with holding for a few breaths, and then we'll do it again on each side with breath for movement. So from Tadasana, we're going to put the weight through your right foot, lifting the left knee and shooting it back to warrior three. So your hands can be at heart center, they can be in airplane arms beside you, or they can be out in front of you. Whatever feels good. Really trying to lift through that lower back, pushing through that lifted heel, breathing here. We're going to bend through the right knee and step the left foot to the back of the mat and inhale up, crescent one. So you're lunging through that right leg. A little slight tuck of the tailbone, activating that core. Breathing. Take a little lower. Here we're going to take our right hand to your left hamstring and left arm over into this reverse warrior or reverse one. We're going to come back up and over, bringing your hands together through heart center, taking an inhale here. And exhale, twisting over to the right. So bring your left arm on the outside of that right leg. And opening up here into your twisted stretching. Inhale, coming up, windmilling our arms up and around to warrior two. So in warrior two, you want to have that heel to arch alignment. Looking over your right fingertips, rolling your shoulders down your back. Evenly distributing weight through both of your feet as if you're pulling the mat apart. From here, we're going to take our fingertips to the back of our head. We're going to do it, some oblique work here. So you're going to bring your right elbow towards the outside of that right knee, holding here. So you're not coming all the way down to the knee. You're just coming down to your edge. 
you want to not crunch down. But you want to open that heart. Good job, Rich. Good job, Daniel. Inhale back up. Warrior two. We're going to flip the front palm. Inhale. Exhale with peaceful. So your left hand can be down your leg or it can be in a bind behind you. Looking up or looking down, still lunging into that right leg. So we're gonna come back up, bring fingertips behind your head, right elbow to the outside of that right knee, drop the list. Inhale up, peaceful. Coming back to that warrior two crunch. Inhaling up, peaceful. One more time, a warrior two crunch. Inhale up, peaceful. From here, we're gonna straighten that front leg, bringing your arms out front. We're gonna shoot our hips to the back, arms lengthened out, coming into your triangle. So putting the weight through your big toe so you're not locking out your knee. Your hand can be at your shin, inside that right foot, outside that right foot, or maybe you have peace fingers at your toe. Imagining you're between two panes of glass, rotating that heart open, really pushing through that back foot, the outer edge, so that you're not dumping here that you're using your core to keep you lifted. We're gonna bend through that right knee, coming up into peaceful again. So we're gonna transition through that a few times. So coming back to triangle, straightening that front leg. Then coming back to peaceful. So again, straightening that front leg, coming to your triangle and back to peaceful. Holding here. From here, we're gonna keep our arm as it is and we're gonna straighten that front leg here in Sky Archer. We're gonna rotate that front foot coming around to our five-pointed star. So from your five-pointed star, take an inhale, bringing your hands together at the top, and exhale, bringing hands through heart center as you squat. So really activating here through your arms, so you don't wanna have gangly arms, you wanna have them activated. A little slight tuck of your tailbone here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our core and our torso over towards the right for an oblique twist. Coming back to center and straightening and squatting back down and rotating to the left for an oblique twist. Coming back to center. Actually, let's straighten our arms and our leg and then bring them back down to a squat and twist to the right again. Back to center, let's straighten up with our arms and our legs. Coming back down with the squat and twisting to the left. Coming back to center, inhale, straighten. Exhale, squat, twist to the right. Back to center, inhale, straighten. Exhale, squat, twisting to the left. And back to center, inhale, straighten up. Exhale, that's forward fold. So taking whatever you need here in your forward fold, maybe you just stay here. Maybe you bend one knee, then the other. Maybe you grab towards the back of your mat. 
pulling yourself down. Maybe you take a twist. Whatever feels good. Taking an inversion if you'd like. back to stillness or to center. When ready, we're going to rotate the right foot towards the front of the mat, walk our hands to the front. We're going to plant our hands and shoot the right foot back to meet left into plank. And going through your vinyasa. From down dog, we're going to roll out to plank. We're going to bend and hover those knees. Looking to the top of your mat, you're going to hop to the top. We're going to inhale, half lift, flat back, rolling those shoulders down and back. Exhale, fold. Let's inhale, coming all the way up. Hands together at the top through heart center and to our side, the Tadasana. You guys doing okay? No? Do you need to stop and take a break and get some water? Okay. Need to grab a sip and then we'll go on to the other side and then we'll do breath for movement. Ready, leading me back into Dasana. So this time we're going to put the weight through your left foot, lifting the right leg up and extending it back to Warrior Three. Checking in with those hips, trying to get them in line with one another. Hands may be at prayer or beside you or out in front of you. Really pushing through that right heel. up through your lower back, flatten that back, use that core. We're going to step the right foot to the back of the mat, inhale arms up, crescent lunge. Really lunging into that left leg, energy out those fingertips. We're going to take the left hand. We're going to drop it to the right hamstring and right arm over. So this reverse crescent or reverse warrior. Inhaling the arm up, hands together through heart center. We're going to inhale. And exhale, twisting over to the left side, bringing your right arm outside of that left leg. This is good for your digestive system. All twists help and aid in your digestive work. Let's inhale, windmilling up. Warrior two. So having that heel to arch alignment, really evenly distributing weight through both of your feet, rolling your shoulders down your back, a little slight touch of your elbow to activate your core. Not leaning here or leaning here, having a neutral place with your So we're going to bring your fingertips to the back of our head. And we're going to bring that left elbow to the outside of that left knee. Not touching it, but keeping lifted with your core. Really opening 
may not fart. Why may not ever back? Coming back up. Warrior two. Flipping the front palm. Inhaling. Taking up. Looking down. Really still trying to keep that lunge in your front leg. back to that warrior two oblique front. So we're going to come down with your elbow, really opening that heart. Inhaling back up into your cheek pull. So again, coming to that warrior two oblique front. And back up to your Straighten that front leg, bring your arms out, shooting your hips back, and coming into your triangle. So putting the weight to your big toe, try to not walk out that knee. Really kind of put the weight through that back outer edge of that foot. Hand can be in your shin or in the inside of your leg. Really rotating open. Imagining you're between two panes of glass, so you're not poking that booty out. There's one line of air. So we're going to bend through that front leg, coming up into your feet. We're going to transition through this a few more times. So we're going to come back to your triangle. Coming up into your feet. Coming back down into your triangle, stretching that leg. Coming back up, bending that knee, coming into your feet. Do that one more time, straightening that leg. Triangle. Coming up. Keep our arms where they are, straightening that front leg. Very sky archer. Really trying to rotate open the heart towards the sky. Coming up with those arms, rotating that foot to five pointed star. So we're going to bring our hands together at the top. And we're going to scoot. Low hands through the heart center into your squat. We're going to rotate to the right for an oblique twist using that core. Coming back to center, let's straighten arms and legs. Walk back down and twist to the left. Coming back to center, straighten up. Walk back down. To the right. Come back to center, straighten up, walk back down, and twist to the left. Come back to center, straighten up, walk back down, and twist to the right. Come back to center, straighten up, walk back down, and twist to the left. Back to center, straighten all the way up and forward fold. Taking whatever you need here. Maybe you take your inversion. Maybe you just move side to side. Maybe you stand off to the to the back and the front. Whatever feels. Good job, Rich. Good job, Maria. Good job, Phyllis. You still got it, girl. Whenever you're done, coming back to center or to your forward fold. No rush. 
We're going to rotate the left foot to the front of the mat, walking your hands to the top, bringing that left foot back in line with right into your plank, really puffing that space through your shoulder, and going through your vinyasa, or skipping, and going straight to down dog. Let's roll out to plank again. Let's bend and hover those knees. Looking to the top of your mat. Hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. And together, through heart center, to Tadasana. How y'all feeling? Feeling good? Okay, so we're going to do that sequence. Looks like we might only have time to do it one time through, but then we have some ab work and then another little sequence I want to go through with some stretching. So we're going to only do like one crunch, moving peaceful to triangle, so we're not doing, you know, three at a time. So it'll just be one movement per breath. So hopefully you guys can keep up. If you can't, just do the best you can. Okay. So from your Tadasana, let's inhale our arms up and let's exhale as we put the weight through your right foot, lifting the left leg, coming into your warrior three. We're going to inhale as we step the foot back, coming into crescent. Exhale, dropping that right hand to your back hamstring, coming into reverse crescent. Inhale as you come with prayer hand to your twisted crescent. Exhale as you open up into warrior two. Inhale, bringing your fingertips behind your head, coming into your warrior two crunch. Exhale, coming into peaceful. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, bending that knee, coming into peaceful. Inhale, straightening that front leg into sky archer. Exhale, rotating that foot, coming into five-pointed star. Bringing your hands together at the top. Inhale as you squat down. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, straighten up. Exhale, squat and twist to the left. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rotate that right foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, going through your vinyasa. Bending those knees, covering those knees, looking to the top of the mat, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale as we come into your warrior three, putting the weight through your left foot this time, extending the right leg back. Stepping that right leg to the back as you inhale up, crescent. Exhale, dropping that left hand to your hamstring, reverse crescent. Inhale up, prayer hands to twisted crescent. Exhale, opening up, warrior two. Inhale to your warrior two front. Exhale to peaceful. Inhale, straighten that front leg, coming into your triangle. Exhale, coming up into your peaceful. Inhale, straightening that front leg. And exhale as you rotate around. Bringing those hands together at the top. Inhale, squatting down. Exhale, rotating that torso to the right. Inhale, back to center, straighten. Exhale, squat. 
can rotate to the left. Inhale to center, straighten up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rotate that left foot to the front of the mat. And exhale, going through your vinyasa. Coming down to the mat, taking a sip of water. And this is after we take our sip of water where we're gonna kind of take a little break or it's not really a break, but we're gonna do some ab work. You guys feeling okay? Y'all hot? Does it feel like hot yoga out there? Is it good? All right, so for our ab work today, we're going to basically move from forearm plank, using our core to lift us up into that dolphin pose, and then coming back to forearm plank. We're gonna do it about eight to 10 times. So you guys, you know, do as many as you want with your practice. Um, but what I've noticed in practicing this is it's easier to put my hands in a fist on my forearms to balance myself versus, you know, having your hands flat. But you do whatever feels good to you and whatever is most challenging to you. So whenever you're ready, we're going to meet and let's just meet and plank and then we'll move to four. want to do this modified on your knees, you can. So we're here in plank. Let's come to our forearm plank. So you're just dropping down to your forearms. Again, helped me with my fists here instead of my hands flat. So booties down. So we're going to use our core slowly and mindfully to lift this up. And then using your core, coming back to your forearm plank. So again, using your core to lift you up. And coming back to your forearm plank. Using your core, slowly and mindfully to lift you up. And coming back to forearm plank. Coming back up. And back down. Taking three to five more on your own. You're working your shoulders here, you're working your abs. Whenever you're ready, Coming down to your bellies. Okay. Your bellies, bringing your hands beside your girls or, or your boys, you know, whatever. <laughs> your lovelies. We're going to curl our toes under, push yourself up to plank, and then back to down dog. So getting to the top of the mat how you would like to, but I'm gonna bend my knees and hover and hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up to the top. Hands together through heart center, Uttadasana. Okay, so we're gonna do another ab exercise in this other flow that we're doing. Kind of weird, but I like it. Helps your hips. It's uh, if you're doing it properly, you will feel it in your, your abs. If you're feeling it in your lower back, you may have to adjust your feet or push your hips back more. So we're going to come with our feet a little more than shoulder, shoulder width distance apart. So for you guys, it might be that your feet are at the outer edges of your mat maybe just a hair in a little more. So we're gonna inhale our arms up. We're gonna come into goal post arms. 
So it's not really goddess arms. If that feels good, that's okay. But it's more goalpost arms. So we're gonna, they're called overhead hip or hip hinges. So we're gonna pull our belly button to spine. And we're going to start to slowly hinge at our hips, pushing your hips back, putting the weight onto your heels and coming down into this flat back. So you wanna have a flat back. So you're really pulling that core in, looking straight out and down in front of you. Can you come down a little more, Rich? Yeah. And inhale, slowly rising up. So we're gonna do this four more times, okay? So slowly hinging at your hips, coming down, flat back, really activating through that core. Good job. Inhaling up. Three more times. Shooting those hips back, putting the weight through your heels, using that core to hold yourself up with a flat back. Good job, Nikki. Inhale up. Coming back down. Flat back, really using that core. Good job, Ashley. And hella. One more. Back down. Holding here, really using that core strength. Can you come down a little more, Anita? Yeah. And in hella. Let's inhale, lifting those arms high to the sky. And let's exhale, forward fold. So from your forward fold, maybe you heel toe your feet in a little closer together. Let's plant our hands to the mat and we're going to lift our right leg up coming into standing split. So lifting that right leg high, trying to get your knee and nose to meet. Maybe you take your supreme balance. Or maybe you keep your hands planted, really just trying to lift through that right leg. We're gonna bend through the left leg and we're gonna step the right foot to the back of the mat. We're gonna inhale up, crescent. We're gonna grab opposite elbows here like we did at the beginning of our warm up. And from here, we're going to twist to the right, come back to center, twist to the left, release your elbows so your right arm's out front, left arm behind. Dropping that left hand to your right hamstring, right arm over to this reverse. Crescent. Come back to center to your crescent and drop your hands as you straighten that front leg. Coming into this, I'll call it split press or straight leg crescent. Just folding over that leg, feeling a nice stretch here in your hands. We're going to plant our hands here and we're going to step the left foot to the back to three legged dog. We're going to bend that knee, bringing knee to nose, crunching it in and shoot it back up. This time we're going to bring knee in and set it behind your left wrist, coming down as if you're coming into pigeon, but we're gonna come into our deer pose. So we're gonna roll over onto your left thumb. Your left leg is parallel. Your right leg is at a 90 degree angle behind you. Good job. Good job. So we're gonna rotate our torso to the front of that parallel leg. We're going to inhale, arms up. We're going to exhale, folding forward. Maybe you can come all the way down to your forearms. 
maybe just being up on your palms is your edge. Go to your edge. This is just stretching out your piriformis. Just like pigeon does. Just a little different pose. We're going to walk our hands slowly and mindfully back up. Now I'm going to offer the next, um, I'm going to call them deer pose crunches. Get your, really works like your lower back here, where sometimes we get that little muffin pop around here. Um, so you can choose to do those, or you can choose to just stay in your deer pose and, and stretch. So keeping that torso rotated towards that parallel leg, bringing your fingertips to the back of your head. We're just going to lower down towards that leg to your edge, using your core to hold you up and then come back up. So again, coming down and then back up. Do that two more times. One more time. And back up. To take our hands, plant them down. Taking your right leg, extending it straight out behind you to your pigeon pose. We're not going to hold pigeon unless you want to hold your pigeon. Your can. From here, we're just going to bring our hands out to the side, and we're going to do three waterfalls. So we're going to inhale, look up. And we're going to exhale as we bend our elbows, drop your chest to the mat, and then inhale back up. Exhale, floating down, inhaling back up. Exhale, floating down, inhaling back up. We're going to take your hands, plant your hands, curl your right toes under. Using your core, you're going to lift that left leg to your chest and then shoot it back to three-legged dog. I'll give you an option here to go through your vinyasa with a three-legged dog or a regular vinyasa or just coming to your down dog. From down dog, we're going to look to the top of your mat, hop, step, or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up, hands together, through heart center, to Tadasana. So we're going to do those hip hinges again. So bringing your feet shoulder width distance apart. Arms up into gold post arms. Putting the weight through your heels as you hinge and shoot your hips back. Using your core to keep you lifted and micro bend in your knees. And inhale, pushing through those heels as you come back up. Again, down, using that core, belly button to spine. Looking straight out and down in front of you and coming back up. Again. And back up. Two more times, so coming down. And back up. One more time, really trying to keep those arms engaged, your belly button engaged, and then come back up. Tail toe your feet together. And inhale up, exhale, fold. So this time we're going to plant our hands, keeping the weight in your right foot, lifting your left leg high, coming into standing foot. Inhale, 
stay in here or maybe you try to take your supreme balance by grabbing the back of your calf with one hand and balancing. Maybe you can lift the left arm off the mat too. We're going to begin to bend that right knee, step the left front to the back of the mat. Inhale up, grab the arm. Gonna grab opposite elbow here. I forgot to offer this last time, but stay in here. Maybe you inhale with a little back bend if you lunge into that right leg. Coming back up, twisting to the left, coming back to center, twisting to the right, extending those arms out. Working that third arm, your left hand through. And left arm over. Coming back up. Planting those hands and straightening that front leg. Doing a nice stretch here in your right hand through. Putting the weight through your right big toe will help you not lock out your knee. From here, we're going to plant our hands and we're going to step the right foot back to three legged like dog. We're going to bend that knee in, knee to nose, crunch it in, and back up. This time, we're going to bring knee in behind your right wrist and set it down. Coming over to that right bottom and bringing your left leg to a 90 degree angle, right leg parallel. So rotating that torso towards that parallel leg. We're going to inhale arms up and exhale folding over. So you're still getting that piriformis stretch like you do in pigeon. Taking one last vinyasa, so you can take a three-legged vinyasa or your regular vinyasa or no vinyasa, it's your practice. Coming down to your knees whenever you're done. So we're almost done. I'm going to 
give you an option for your back bend. Again, I'm sticking with camel because we've been doing that a lot lately and just to get consistent with the back bends and get better at them, I'm gonna stick with the camel. If you wanna do wheel or bridge, you can. So if you want to do bridge pose, I'll show you the option for those of you who might not have ever done it. But bridge pose is just coming to your back. Shimmering your shoulder blades up underneath one another, trying to touch your ankles, clasping your hands underneath and lifting your hips. Or you can take a full back bend, which is a wheel. or camel, which I'm going to show you guys. So you guys know your practice and what you'd like to do. But for camel, we're going to come to our knees. So your feet can be flat, or you can curl your toes under. You curl your toes under, makes it easier to reach your ankles. So we're going to bring your either your thumbs to the little creases of your back, or your palms down or palms up. You're going to roll your shoulders forward as you shoot your hips towards the front. Begin to drop your head down. Maybe this is your edge or maybe you drop one hand to your ankle and the other and then push your hips forward. Done, coming back up the same way you came in, and just dropping your head to the mat. Beautiful camels. Good job, Marie and Rich. Beautiful. So, if you guys do want to take an inversion, you can. Um, either doing a headstand or handstand or forearm stand. If you don't feel like doing inversions, we'll just come on and bring class down. What do y'all feel like? Inversions? I know. No, no, you said, got the grass, girl, land in the grass. <laughs> so go ahead and practice your inversions if you'd like, taking a few minutes. If you don't, maybe you just take it or take a child's pose. Good job, Rich. Good job, Phyllis. Good job, Elise. That's awesome. You could probably do those uh, walking handstands like those crossfitters. Good job, Daniel. Yeah, girl. Yeah. That's awesome. Not going to lie, I'm jealous. Good job. I wish I could do a handstand in the middle of the room, but I can't. It's been a while. Making sure you take a child pose after you are upside down just to counterbalance being upside down. All right, and whenever you're ready, we're just going to make our way to our back. Come into your back. We're going to come into our happy baby. Ashley, you might see your baby doing this all the time. But you're going to grab the outer edges of your feet, roll your tailbone down to where it's flat, and you're trying to use your bicep to pull your feet down, trying to get your knees to the mat. You can stay here, or maybe you roll on your back, getting a nice massage. Maybe you straighten one leg, then the other. Ow. 
Ashley, you can go home and show your baby that you can be happy baby too. <laughs> you guys can do it together. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a out of your happy baby, we're just going to drop your feet to the mat. We're going to bring your arms out to a T. I'm going to stand up and talk because y'all can't hear me when you're laying down. So bring your arms out to a T and you're going to set your right foot on top of your left thigh. And you're going to shift your knees over towards the left, dropping them to the ground and looking over your right shoulder into your spinal twist. There you go, Ashley. So maybe you use your left hand to pull down on your left leg, giving yourself a little assist, giving yourself a little deeper twist here. Inhaling, coming back to center. We're just gonna switch sides. So bringing your other foot on top and shifting your knees to the, to the right, dropping them to the mat and looking over your left shoulder this time. Maybe you use your hand to give yourself a little assist. Since I can't come over and assist you one day, maybe we will again. back to center, taking any pose that you feel like you might need before coming into Shavasana. So you can release your legs, straighten your legs out, coming into your final resting pose. Palms can be up for receiving or palms down for grounding. Just fully releasing into the mat. We're gonna do a body scan here. So bring in awareness to your eyes and maybe you just roll your eyes around and socket a few times, one way and then the other, releasing any tension that you're holding on to. Bringing awareness to your jaw. Maybe you open your jaw wide, releasing any tension that you're holding there. And then when you close it back, maybe you leave your lips generously parted, slowing down that breath, bringing awareness to your shoulders. Maybe you shimmy your shoulders up underneath one another, creating a little shelf. Bringing awareness to your chest, releasing through your chest, down through your biceps elbows, releasing through your forearms and your wrists, down to your fingertips, bringing awareness to your core, releasing through your core. We've done a lot of core work today, releasing through your sacrum, your hips, down through your thighs and the knees through your shins and your calves, all the way down to your ankles and your toes. Maybe you point your big toes in towards one another and let your feet flop out a few times just to release here. Fully grounding yourself into the earth, letting go.
maybe you begin to bring awareness back to your breath. Maybe you begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you take a long body stretch. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you hug your knees into your chest, giving yourself a little hug, a little love and gratitude for showing up today to do something good for your mind and your body. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you roll over to your most supportive side in a comfortable fetal position. Noticing how you feel. Awareness is one of the greatest things you can possess in this life, as it is as important as the very air we breathe and the water we drink to stay alive. Work for it, train your mind for it, and practice. Pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. With eyes heavy or closed, maybe you roll your shoulders down your back. Taking a moment to just bring awareness to how your body feels now versus at the beginning of class. Inhale your arms up overhead, bringing your hands through heart center. Go and spread love to others and to yourself. Go in peace. Namaste.